Well, Chris, it's called getting schmacked. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the latest episode of the Smack Talk podcast, episode number 56. Who would have thought it, huh? 56 episodes. Not me. That's, <laughs> that's who wouldn't have thought it. Me. Uh, yeah, you're all very welcome back to the latest episode of the Smack Talk podcast. We've been on an absolute roller coaster at the minute of just week after week after week. The new format's working well, the episodes are doing well, the solo episodes are doing well, the guest episodes are doing well. And yeah, we're all just loving it. Now, I'm going to admit, I am very, very, very underprepared this week, which, um, you know, is what it is. I've had a very jam packed schedule. I'm coming into that later half of the semester now of university. We're basically like, you know, assignments trying to get due or something like that. So if I miss a week, don't shoot me. I'm trying my best. It's a one man band over here. Uh, I've put everything together myself. But yeah, I'm not starting off on negative. Um, I'll just update you on what I've been at and what has been happening in the usual sort of format with this. So basically, the big gig that I'm, fuck, like, if you can't have it, I'm beyond excited for is the gig at PB's in the Moy, St. Patrick's Day, 6 pm. The Moy, PB's, St. Patrick's Day. If you haven't got the memo already, Holy shit, that is going to be unreal. Like, I just think that's going to be one of the most mental gigs ever. Like, hopefully everyone's not too lit, where they have to, you know, just shout and just give up. But uh, let's hope everyone's, everyone's up for the crack. I think there will be. Like, if you paid the money to go to a show like that, you, you want to listen. It's a great, great lineup as well. Uh, Sean Haggerty thinks headlining it as well. Like, that's just going to be an unreal night. Good buddy Kieran's going as well. Uh, and this is the PSA, actually. If anybody who doesn't... Sub- if there's anybody out there that actually does... I need to word this carefully. If there's anybody out there that doesn't support... No, sorry. If there's anyone out there that doesn't, you know, go out and enjoy the holiday of St. Patrick's Day and the fancy doing a lift out to the Moyanoma, be my guest. I would much, much, much appreciate that because at the minute, it looks like I'm going to have to drive and be sober for that entire experience, which is slightly tragic, you know? That would not be ideal. But yeah, um, apart from that, what's been going on? There's just a few more gigs coming up. Um, back up in Derry, I have something lined up for Dublin, I think I mentioned that in the last podcast, but um, yeah, that's kind of it, I've had my first game actually for East Belfast GA, so I don't know if I've officially joined them, I think I'm still waiting on papers back, so maybe I can't announce that, but I've been fucking upset anyway, <laughs> but yeah, East Belfast GA, so just, I'm living up in Belfast now, so it just makes sense, I might as well play football up here, uh, playing for the reserve team, and um, we had a game against like a fully Irish speaking team. The Iron Knight and <laughs> what an experience that was. I think we ended up losing by like three or four points, but that was like our first game together, sort of. And um, it was so weird. Like everything, obviously, as an Irish speaking team, so everything's Moy Hu and Gia Ditch and Amal Catholic and those guys in the I don't know. I don't speak Irish. But I literally I went up to the boy because I knew it was an Irish speaking team and I was like, oh, Gia Ditch. And he was like, oh, Gia Ditch. And I continued to say things in Irish to me and I was like, here, buddy, no. I, I literally, <laughs> that's off guard. That's pretty much, that's me maxed out. But uh, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I've been loving playing football again and just getting around and getting a kick about and just having like just a good time with it. I think we have a game tomorrow against, well, when this, yeah, actually as of today I've been recording this, when this comes live, we would have played a game against the PSNI. Now, I don't know what that's going to look like, but the thought of it, <laughs> the thought of it's making me laugh. Um, yeah, so East Belfast Reserves versus the PSNI. I don't know. I do know like the PSNA have teams in like rugby, but I didn't know they had a, a Gaelic team. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. That should be a lot of fun. But as I was saying, like it just it's just so good to get the size five back in hand. Actually, get back playing matches again. So hopefully, when all said and done, the transfer officially comes through, I'll be able to wrap the gear and play some games and you know get stuck in fully. But um, it's one of them ones where it's like I don't know. Sort of half fell out of love with Gaelic and then sort of half back into it and then half sort of I don't know. I'm not that, I think I'm at the level like where I just I want to go and have a bit of crack with it. I'm not too bothered about like, you know world domination and you know winning uh, Ulster championships and all that. There sort of carrying on stuff. So yeah, that's a it's the perfect level for me to go in at. It's love. It's class. And I've had work up whatever and miss. It's not it's not the complete end of the world because there's other levels that you can go into. But yeah, enough about me. That's sort of basically the gist of everything that's going on. A bit of university chaos. A bit of sport and chaos and a bit of podcast and comedy chaos so you know that's sort of the gist of everything at the minute but uh, I was going to talk about some this is going to be a really quick episode by the way uh, so apologies I'm literally recording this the day before it goes live so this is Saturday it'll be out tomorrow or today as you're watching this so what has been happening I think the big news this week is Ukraine now there's a couple of niche topics I want to touch on in this like some of them are madness like I seen there today that there's Sky 
Sky reporters that got shot at while reporting in Ukraine. Now, obviously, that's a very serious incident, but at the same time, does no one else watch the news when they're like reporting wearing bulletproof vests and helmets and all that stuff and be like, what, what the fuck do you expect? You know? Well, like, what else is going <laughs> to... Like, if they're like to me, Sean, we want you to go out and report in Ukraine, I'd be like, absolutely no chance. Like, that's not happening under any circumstances whatsoever. It's just, I don't understand. I don't... I don't understand why they have to send them out into the middle. Maybe it's an interview thing. You can see my, you can actually see the cogs in my head working trying to figure out side. Why do they need to be in Ukraine? Can not just green screen it and be like, "This is the images from Ukraine, and everyone just stays safe at home"? Because I doubt the journalists are doing much in way of helping the war for a reason for them to be there. Like you're seeing things like the airport getting attacked and all this other stuff. Like you, there's no other way home. So I, I, yeah, I really I don't. <laughs> don't understand that one but like the headings are it's like this shocking news that the journalists are getting shot at you're like yeah they've gone in the middle of fucking war like I don't know I might be in cynical maybe I'm being cynical uh, but there's a news story I'm going to share this article actually it's going to pop up on the screen here so if you're not listening if you're only listening to this and not watching it on video uh, Daily Mail shared a story and the headline is two more Russian commanders are in Ukraine after a top general was shot dead by snipers Western official claims now, the reason I bring this up is because the guy that they're reporting it on, it it's, it has to be Eamon Holmes. The photo of, like, this guy, it's just, like, the look of him, I looked at him, I was like, hold on a second. I recognise, I recognise this boy. And <laughs> my immediate thought process was like, is that Eamon, is that Eamon Holmes? And, like, uh, hopefully, if you aren't watching the, if you just listening to this, you're gonna have no idea what I'm on about. You're like, what the fuck is he talking about? But this boy is a spitting image of Eamon Holmes. I think they deployed Eamon Holmes as like some sort of super spy to go, <laughs> to go out there and fight in the war. And amongst all them journalists that are getting shot at, just <laughs> Eamon Holmes. But you know, how sometimes they get like the images mixed up with people. I, the more I look at it, the more I can just see that this this is Eamon Holmes. Like it's an absolute ringer absolute ring of them with like the like even just with the hat and all on <laughs> the, all, the hat and all in fairness you say your mom was 47 so I guess that's a bit of a compliment to are we aiming from are we country but uh <laughs> just uh, I don't know I just looked at that and I don't know maybe people are like Sean should be laughing at that but just looking at the dude I'm like that's Eamon Holmes yeah so shout out Eamon Holmes is absolutely mad here uh <laughs> I did, as I say, I'm going to keep this episode really, really short this week, but I basically did, like, I was thinking, I hate just asking for general questions now on the podcast because none of you send any in, so I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point anymore? But uh, I'm going to talk about a bit of stuff that's happened on the Instagram page and stuff that I've been posting and stuff like that. So, like, this week I posted a video, if you haven't seen it, it's like, a, hi, my name's Sean, I'm a Northern Ireland stand-up comedian, blah, 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 I do a podcast and all this stuff. I'm sure you've seen it, you're all big fans, I know. And, um... I posted one and it's basically that idea like hi I'm Sean for people that don't know me and a lot of people say that, that you know don't necessarily know who I am and when I introduced myself as a northern a comedian from Northern Ireland but I say and I have my own podcast and this guy commented under it this might be my favourite but I don't even know if you call it hate it's just funny it's like uh, I hope your podcast is called a broadcast <laughs> and I <laughs> The more just the more I looked at the more serious I was like, oh, that is absolutely quality. Like if there's anyone if there's anyone that wants to steal that name or take it, you should be more than welcome because I don't think with a name like Sean McLevy, the broadcast um would would work too well. But uh, if there's anyone else out there <laughs> that wants to go ahead and take that and talk all things sectarian, I don't know, whatever stuff people like to talk about in the broadcast, <laughs> yeah, be my guest. But uh, the other thing, the reason I was bringing up the Instagram page and all this here other stuff was because I put out a wee poll and I thought to myself I don't like doing questions that much because I said don't let them tell me any so what I've done was this week I was like I was like what's I was scrolling through TikTok earlier and I seen the video of um, Shane Long scoring against Germany and no matter how many times I watch that video like I don't know how many times I've seen it I will always stop and I'll always watch it and I'll, it'll always put a smile on my face I'll just watch it and be like yeah what a good day that was that was unreal. So what the question was put out was, what's a video that always comes off you that you just can't scroll past? And there's some there's some cracking answers. So, uh, and some of them are football related. I think it's more of a boy thing than a girl thing. But uh, the first answer I got back was from uh, Jack and Gee. Shout out Jack, and he was saying Robbie Brady's goal in the 2016 Euros. Do you remember whenever who was across it in? 
uh, is it Houlihan or something that crossed it in or something and then Brady gets a flick on it and Ireland goes through to the next round <laughs> he's like that goal should be in Pornhub so as a matter of interest I'm going to look up if that goal is in Pornhub so <laughs> uh, let's load up the website I'm going to have to make sure this is on uh, mute <laughs> just in case anything flies up wait what the type thing here doesn't come up hmm uh, let me see maybe I'll have to do a www dot here let's find it here www dot Pornhub Dot com research purposes only. There we go. And then I'm gonna look up Robbie Brady goal while not looking at anything else. Oh, Robbie Brady goal. Uh, no, first thing comes up is blue eyed step. No, no, no. Uh, party of the Brady, but nope, no, that's not it. Uh, Insane hot roommate. No. Okay, right. I don't think. <laughs> I wonder if I put in just Robbie Brady. Or Ireland Gold. Maybe if I put in Ireland Gold. Ireland Gold. <laughs> uh, Irish Red. No, that's not Robbie Brady. And. <laughs> 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 This is the fucking worst segment I've ever done ever. I'm right, what I want to go from this segment in is then check if there's anything on this particular website that does like sporting moments. Because you'll you've seen those things that's like someone's already uploaded this goal on the flipping Pornhub. So I'm going to see football goal. Uh, takes on fault. No, does not. That's not it. Um... Latinas play soccer. No, sometimes that's not right either. No, because right where I'm going with this is it's basically like how you see people pull up like Joe, like when England scored in the Euros, Euros is like oh it's like like when England beat Denmark, it was like Danish team gets reeled and then it comes up and then it's like a football match. No, just me. Okay, right. <laughs> my my poor home starts is currently Robbie Brady goal, Robbie Brady Ireland goal, famous football goals. <laughs> so this match is like what the fuck is wrong with this fan? How has he discovered this? But yeah, that uh, that was like that is for play. That was actually a good one. I actually I like that. That's one of them ones as well. For Robbie Brady's goal, I need to close this website down. There's things popping up everywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was one of them ones. Is like yeah, if that comes up, I'll never ever like not scroll past it. <laughs> I'm stuck in this topic now. Uh, Heather Anderson sent in. I love that. I like. I didn't know some of these videos. Heather said the video where the gay pours beans into his computer and then the gay comes around and fixes it. So we're going to do a Google search for this one because I've never seen this. So I presume, I presume that will not be on. I'll close down the, the current web browser I was using there. It will not be on that site. And then go on to YouTube. That's probably more applicable. Gay puts beans on computer. Okay, so there's an 11 minute 46 video. <laughs> there's an 11 minute video on a guy who fills his PC with beans and hires a repair man to fix it. It's got 6.9 million views and then there's a short version of it. So like, what's that, 30 seconds? So we'll watch the squeak quick version of it. Hopefully it's okay. This, it's common sense, this video may be inappropriate to some users. Mate, it's usually just seeing what I was just watching. <laughs> what I just searched on a different website. This would not be inappropriate. Um, how did they watch this? Oh, it doesn't let me watch the shorts, right? We're watching the full version then, stop me. Right, get ready for 11 minutes worth of amazing content. So no one's ever pranked Ross, but... Oh no. Oh, here it is. I think we'll have it. <laughs> That's a lot of beans. Right? Why are the beans black? I'm gonna murder its family. I'm gonna capture it, tie it to a little chair. He's taking like four tins of beans and just shot them inside. <laughs> this is like Windows, Win Windows, Windows computer. What the fuck? Alright, this is the last game. I don't understand why they're black. Black beans. For some reason, I was thinking Heinz, but here we are. There's like smoke and all pouring out of it. It smells like a cap. Oh! Oh, that's on fire. Holy shit. I'm going to for him to get here. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to play like as stupid as possible. Right, here comes the repair guy. And it's on and it's working. You can do whatever you want to do until the blue screen comes on. Is that <laughs> right, it turns on some, most of the time and then maybe five, ten minutes in it'll go just... 
But it comes on sometimes and then just turns off and then sometimes it doesn't come on. Okay. Um, okay, so here's a Repermont's video. <laughs> this is this is terrible podcast content, but I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> I was, I, yeah, he say it's a power. Wait, wait, wait. Come here for a minute. <laughs> power. Dude, have you ever opened this computer up before? No. I'm gonna open it up and show you something I've never seen before. <laughs> what the? F- what? What? <laughs> he's like, he's just opening it and shows me this thing. Like, look at that. There's just beans all over it. And I was like, look at that. He's like, what's wrong with it? This is awesome. Heather, I'm seriously com- like, I'm confused with how many times this pops up on your feed if you sit and watch this. I wish there was like a time. Do you know what? That'd be a great thing if like you could just watch how many times you've watched one video over and over and over and over and over again like how much of your life you spent watching <laughs> one segment of a video no 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 someone sold you something with a bunch of beans this is like- <laughs> that's amazing man right? i can genuinely see how like i don't think i'll ever skip that video if it comes up on my <laughs> recommended ever ever again uh Another one in from the bro, and this this was very close to my one that I was gonna say I never skip. I never skip this video either. But <laughs> Conor McGregor, whenever he sparks out Jose Aldo in like thirty seconds, it may as well YouTube it. And he's like, and, and he's included like the Joe Rogan commentary, like is what makes it. Uh, so Conor McGregor. <laughs> so hang on, McGregor. The what did I say? Aldo. <laughs> it is. It's the Joe Rogan commentary. Of this I'm gonna turn the volume off because it's just. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, let's see here. Go! Here we go! <laughs> Green trunks for the this video. Walk, The notorious Conor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion. Joe Z. Aldo Jr. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. He's left him! <laughs> I don't know why, every single time I would just laugh at that video. But he threw. I can almost quote this video from start to finish. He slapped him. I gotta go back to the start, right? See if I can quote this. <clears throat> Here we go. In trunks for the southpaw, the notorious Conor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Relaxed and smiling. Oh! <laughs> he slapped him. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. That, that is, I think that, that actually might be my one. Like, if that, any McGregor, like, montage or highlight thing, I know people, there's pins on, he's a scumbag and whatever, but, like, <laughs> those videos, like, that video is just insane. How you could ever just scroll past that, I have no idea in, in the world how that could be a thing. But, uh, yeah, fuck me, what a, what a fun episode that was. That was a really good segment. Also, I only give people, like, two hours and all that, so if there's more that come in next week, I might, might do them as well. If you have any videos that you like, can't scroll past without, like, you know, you just can't scroll past because it's that good. Please send them my way because I, <laughs> I want to I wanna react to all the videos and uh, include them in this. I don't know how that makes for content listening in fairness on a podcast, if that's any use or not. Uh, but, yeah. That's um, that's going to do it, guys. <laughs> that's a weird way to end out, a, end out a podcast. But if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, follow, leave a rating, do all those lovely things. And guys, this has been Smack Talk, episode number 56. I'll see you all again in the next one. Goodbye.